bei Bob Hawkeye hat. As you can see from the floppy hat I'm wearing and also the woolly hat, it's one of those days where you can catch hypothermia and be sunburned at the same time. Mm. Walking on the right side of the uh, yeah, at the moment. On the other side, eh? Yeah, keeping the wind away. Pretty white and cloudy in, in all directions, as you can see. Okay, there's another grizzle in here. I'm always on the lookout for grizzle in ears. I don't know why. That one, that is. They're native to New Zealand. They mostly grow in the South Island, but as you can see, they grow up here in the North Island as well. But, but they're, they're used as a hedging plant. There's some more down there. Um, they're used as a hedging plant all over the world. And apparently, um, I was reading somewhere, I don't know how true this is or not, apparently they grow them over there in the Faroe Islands, the other side of the world. Faroe Islands in between Scotland and Iceland. Crazy, eh? They grow them over there. New Zealand native trees. Huh. Down, down, down at the moment. Up, up, up yesterday and down, down, down today. Although today's down isn't as much down as yesterday's up was up, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Hello. Somebody's left some 6x2 planks and some timber pegs here. Hmm, wonder what they're gonna construct. There's a little bit of that reindeer moss, which is actually a lichen. I haven't seen a lot of it on this track, to be honest. Usually I see it all over the place in these sort of subalpine areas, but I haven't seen a heck of a lot of it on this track. Look at that old dead tree there. Okay, we're back into the uh, we're back into the bush now. Look at all the moss growing on the branches. 
See, this is something like what Alan Lee would paint. Yep, still in cloud. Hmm. Sometimes there would be a view here, but not at the moment. Just barely see the track down there. Is it showing up on camera? Oh, I don't know if it's showing up. Oh, there it is. I just had to focus it on the right thing. There you can see the track. Well, there's the swamp below. We've almost gotten down to it. Walking across that, you can see that you can see the track properly now. But yeah, I actually think that looks pretty cool. Oh, look at that! It's really swampy down there, isn't it? Look at that! It's like the dead marshes. Looks like they're waiting for me over at that bridge. <laughs> Unless they're just having a little sightsee. Or both. And we're climbing further down, aren't we? where we just came from. This. You can see the remnants of an old track underneath this one. See? Everything goes back to nature in the end. Nails will probably last a while though. <laughs> There's a big old lump of volcanic rock. Andesite, I think. I think Taranaki, that's what they call Taranaki Andesite Volcano. Not like the basalt ones in um, in um, Auckland and Hawaii, which, and Iceland too, I think, where the lava's a lot more runny. Andesite's more explosive. And rhyolite's even more explosive than that, is it? There you go. More viscous. There you go, you can pause that and read it if you want. It's quite interesting. Well, the uh, couple of um, really interesting points is that the swamp has its own um, unique climate. And uh, what was that other bit about half of all... Oh, here we go. Half of all the park's plant species are found here within 100 hectares. Hmm. Huh. Look at that. I wonder if that was part of a tree that got caught in ash from Taranaki and burnt up some time ago. 
Oh yeah, it's like it's not it's not like rock. It's I wonder if that's a part of a burnt up tree. A sign. What does the sign say? <laughs> she was just explaining what this says in Cantonese. Well, no, if you say holy hut. Are we are we that close to the hut? <laughs> yeah, five, five minutes. minutes. Well, what does that mean in Cantonese? Oh no, this is very bad. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Come on, look at that. Those ones are in flower. I think it's focusing on them now. Look at the foliage on it. There we go. Must be a um, stream that runs through here. Mm. But no river crossing at the moment, at least. Hasn't a bit dry. That's good. Hmm. There's a little bit of a stream running through there at the moment. <laughs> yes, there. <laughs> Shot. But there's, oh, look, there's one, one of those on a bed of bright green moss. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you can see the teeny tiny little waterfall in there. Uh, I can't locate it with my camera though, because I can locate it with my eyes. Oh, there it is. Teeny tiny little waterfall. Yeah, and uh, one of the dangerous things about Mount Taranaki is, uh, well, obviously the fact it could erupt again one day, but uh, but also the way that the um, the mountains and the rocks and um, uh, have been layered um, because it's it, it's it's very unstable because uh, basically what's happened is um, it will throw out a whole lot of ash and loose rock and that'll make one layer. And then the next layer will be more solid sort of lava, and then there'll be another ash of. I mean, it doesn't throw them out constantly in that sequence. I mean, it could. It'll. It'll be all, all over the place. But basically, there are lay, uh, um, uh, layers of loose ash and rock, and then there's a solid layer, and then you, you know what I mean. Um, and obviously, that makes it very unstable because if if you get one of those ashy, rocky, loose layers washing away, then the whole thing. The, all, all the rest of it's going to come away as well, isn't it? So that's one of the dangerous things, and that's why you get these real dangerous stuff like this. Like when this the stuff like this might have formed, it could have formed all suddenly, or might have this one might have formed gradually over time. But sometimes they'll form suddenly, and they can be be quite dangerous. Like a, a laha flow, like a, well, I was talking about before. That was what they had on the um, is it the Tungawai over in Ruapehu disaster when it washed out a train track and the train ran over back in. Geez, I don't even know when it was. Was it? This? I don't, I don't actually, it's a, it's a while ago anyway, but that's, uh, yeah, it's just uh, my very um, layman and basic understanding of Taranaki's geology. Here we go, here's the, oh there's a hebe, uh, here's the hut. Oh, look at here, piles of chopped wood in there. <laughs> Where you go? Do I have the bells? bells the toilet's that way. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? <clears throat> this building was opened on 22nd of March 1975. That putting my boots on. Oh, so this time next year we'll have its 50th anniversary. To a, well, I've never gotten to a hut this early before. We got here at midday, um, and um, it's meant to be um, full fill up tonight. So it's nice to have a bit of time to have the hut to ourselves for a little while, a bit of time to relax. And uh, I have to go to the toilet. But this is our bunk room anyway. 
what I quite like about it is that it's got a bit of ventilation there because these always get people always close the door and it always gets lots of condensation. But then again, I suppose the only problem with that is that during winter it's going to get really cold and all the warmth from people is just going to seep out into the main room. But oh well. Guess what we're doing? We are heading down to those Bell of Falls. And guess what I'm doing? I'm gonna go, I'm in my togs, and I got my towel, and I'm planning on going for a swim. Yeah, take a photo now before those come across. <laughs> I'm just getting a still video, I guess. That teeny tiny bit of snow that was up there a couple of nights ago is all gone.
Can you see the hut from where you are? Yeah, you can see the roof. Oh, the roof. Oh, and yeah. you can see kind of the lawn where um, the tent is and a couple of people sitting. The sun looked down. Well, oh, that one, that's a cool truck, eh? I didn't see it, see it drop that though. Yeah, it did. I did. did. How did you? Yeah. Did you get it? Can you remember it? Yeah, Peg will tell me that. Tarina is having a good study of the map. I'm looking for, um... Maybe, <laughs> yeah. What are you looking for? A place I forgot the name of. <laughs> oh, she's looking for a place she forgot the name of. <laughs> Weevil of some kind. So yeah, it was funny because they thought that it, how we are drifting, mm -hmm. naturally we are drifting. Um, mm -hmm. Stinky, but that would take us away. Every every day. Hello, Mr. Spider. Yeah, oh, but as soon as you move him onto the chair, he's running, right? That's what yeah, I'm if, yeah. If, if I put him onto the chair, it's not a spider. It's a tree. It's a harvestman. Yeah. But how come it has eight legs? Uh, harvestmen have eight legs. Uh. Harvestmen are still arachnids. They're off, off filling. I, I can't remember the Latin name. But. There are. Oops, it's almost. Eight. 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 So I just want to get a shot of its it eyes. Not a spider. Mm. Yeah. Can you see its two little it, beady eyes? Is it like a beetle or something? You mean no, it's, it's like an arachnid, but not a spider. Eyes are going a bit. All right. I I'll get it from the front. An no. arachnid, a spider is an arachnid, but this is it's an arachnid, but it's, it's not an arachnid. Yeah, it's, it's so arachnid, so so family. Ara arachnids are a, high, are, are, are a larger classification of animals, which include spiders and scorpions and mites, uh, but also okay. harvestmen, yeah. Okay. That's a better shot. Better when it's on the grass. You can see it's two little beady little eyes. You can see it's jaws, little jaws at the front there. See? Oops, now I've made it run away. <laughs> 